We live in a world encompassed with all kinds of warning signs about our surroundings, to our health, to even about ourselves. We are often warned not to forget all the warnings. In Family Search, I would like to issue a warning about a particular app that is so captivating, so intriguing, and especially so time consuming that you may even give up texting and Facebook time. The warning is for all the stories. Probably the easiest way to access the app is to log into Family Search and then go down to the bottom of any page to the app gallery. With 156 available Family History app, it's best to search for all the stories. This presentation will introduce you to the free amazing program. If you happen to get captivated by it, don't blame me, you have been warned. Opening up the app, you will come to the home page. Note that all the stories only reads information from your Family Search account, and you cannot make changes or upload to Family Search. I recommend bookmarking this page as you will want for sure to get back to it easily. Let's get started. You'll be directed to log into Family Search. Then synchronizing with Family Search will download all the stories of your direct line ancestors and their siblings back nine generations. You sync for the first time, or if you have logged in before, you can read the stories from the last upload or resync for possibly more stories. It usually takes a few minutes to search for all your ancestor stories. Finally now, with all the stories in one place, you can excitedly learn more about your ancestors. Note that in the fan view, your mother's and father's sides. The darker dots have more stories attached. To the left is a listing of all the stories, though not in a particular order. The length of each story is noted by the time that it would approximately take to read the story. Let's look at how this works. Clicking on a dot, I discover my mother's grandmother, Lois Gunn, with brief details of her life, a list of five stories in her family search file. Clicking on the first one, an autobiography written in 1860 that is approximately three minutes long. The story appears in the middle of the screen for me to read. On the left, the story title is highlighted. On the right are listed every person that this story is attached to along with brief life details, my relationship to them, and a link to their family searches details page. Wow, this is so interesting. I next click on a dot on my father's side and see that this is his great great grandfather James Boyer Shelley. There are also five stories available. An interesting one is about the man who wouldn't turn back. I discovered that the story is written by a great great grandson the very noted BYU professor George D. Durant. Wow, I must be related to him. This was a very interesting story. Besides discovering stories by looking through the individual dots representing ancestors, one can also browse through all the stories listed on the left. Here's a title that catches my attention. John Addy Accidentally Shot. Hmm, I better open and read this story. Turns out he's my mother's great great uncle. In reading then following through on the link to Family Search, I discovered that in order to have funds to go west, John got a job as a teamster with the Kimball and Lawrence Freight Company. His wife, Mary Ann, followed later in another wagon train. One day to go hunting, John took out his gun and it accidentally fired, hitting him, and he died a few days later. He was buried along the trail. In a time with no instant communication, Mary Ann sadly discovered the tragic death of her husband when days later their wagon train came upon the grave and the inscription written on buffalo bones. One cannot imagine the grief and sorrow Mary Ann and family must have felt. With a, yet with an example to all of us of great faith, Mary Ann continued on to the Salt Lake Valley with undaunted courage. I don't know the distant cousin Celia Hobson Oki who uploaded this story, but I am very grateful that she took the time and effort to share this wonderful example of faith with us. Now I know you don't want to hear any more of my family stories as you want to discover your own, but let me point out a couple of other features of all the stories. The app searched my line nine generations of around 600 ancestors and found 217 stories. If you want to know how many stories in your line, you have to run the program and count them. 
If you get caught up in the stories and want to get back to the home page, just click here. To somewhat sort, sort the story, starring the story moves it to the top of the list. Archiving the story after you've read it moves it to the end of the list. Just re-clicking one can easily change the starred or archived status. Besides looking through ancestors in the fan view, the stories are also searchable. I type in Davis, but only find four stories. I know there should be more than that. What's going on? My father has in his memories 18 photos, two documents, and one stories. I had added his obituary in the documents. I note that a distant relative had added obituaries into the stor story section and titles them obituary. By searching obituary, over a dozen are found. I learned that all the story searches by the words in a title only. Also, since I didn't add the story, I can't change the title. For future stories, I realize that a definitive title is very important. While the essential goal of family history is for the sealing of families in the temples, it is also critical to learn of our ancestors, as President Joseph Fielding Smith stated. It doesn't matter whether your computer is able to compile all the family group sheets for everyone that ever lived on the earth. It remains the responsibility of each individual to know his kindred dead. Even if the work is done, then it's still each person's responsibility to study and become acquainted with the ancestors. Memories as photos and stories play an important role in our acquaintance with our ancestors. Stories have always enhanced and enlivened the scriptures. Stories of our lives define us. Thus Family Searches My Family and last year's 52 story projects in striving in defining the dash as in the poem. For that dash represents all the time that they spent alive on earth and now only those who love them know what that little line is worth. Stories affect our children and grandchildren. A 2010 study asks us the question, do you know the power of family history and adolescent identity and well-being? The study concluded that the teens that knew more stories about their extended family were more resilient in the face of adversity. The teens showed, quote, higher levels of emotional well-being and also higher levels of identity achievement. Another study reported in 2013, children with the most self-confidence have what's called a strong intergenerational self. They know they belong to something bigger than themselves. Stories can bind living relatives. As an example, in 2014, I was blessed to be in Guangzhou, China, teaching English with the wonderful BYU China Teachers Program. One day, while looking on Family Search, I read a story that my cousin, Claudine Burtonshaw Gordon, had written about our grandfather. I hadn't been in contact with Claudine since another cousin's funeral several years before. I thought to email her and thank her for the story. To my unbelievable surprise, Claudine and her husband Richard were at the same time in New Zealand on an LDS mission teaching family history. We started to email, discussing our family history. After we both came back, we felt it would be wonderful to get together. So, in August 2016, 17 of our first cousins with spouses along with the last remaining uncles and aunts had a Davis reunion. Traveling from six states, a number of us hadn't seen each other in 30 to 40 years. It was truly a wonderful experience that started with a story added on Family Search by Claudine. President Irene reminds us that the names which will be so difficult to find are of real people to whom you owe your existence in this world and whom you will meet again in the spirit world. Their hearts are bound to you. Their hopes is in your hand. You will have more than your own strength as you choose to labor on to find them. So I issue a happy warning that all the stories is a captivating, intriguing, and wonderful app to help us and our families to become better acquainted with ancestors to whom we are lovingly bound.